top five mcs you ain't gotta remind me top five mcs you gotta rewind me i'm high up on the line you could get behind me but my head's so big you can't sit behind me oh. why kanye did him like that why he doing like that obviously you guys don't know but i have been jamming graduation kanye's third studio album a lot recently i've been jamming it back to back every single day and it's like my motivational album and it just it really gets me out of bed and gets me pumped to make a video every time i edit a video now i listen to that whole album and oh my god kanye's such a goat he's such a goat what's up you guys chase the dark sage today we're back with another video in today's video y'all saw from the title and i don't usually do this on the main channel now i've done this plenty of times on the twitch streams twitch.tv slash chase the dark sage go ahead check me out and follow the twitch channel please link in the description down below but i've done this plenty of times on the twitch channel but i haven't done this on the actual main channel itself and so i wanted to rank some of the best places to buy manga and it's kind of remixing my video of where to buy manga but in this video we're gonna actually rank them and rate them and i'm gonna give you guys my opinions on each of these sites and i actually made this tier list myself so if you do want to make your own tier list you can go ahead i will leave the link in the description down below but in this video we will be ranking some of the best places to buy manga from and i asked you guys in the community post a week or two ago from the time i'm recording this video what do you think is the best place to buy manga now obviously there's different parameters when it comes to actually ranking all these places to buy manga whether it be the best shipping or the best pricing or like if it's in stock a lot or things like that now i know a lot of you guys probably go off of different parameters you get what i'm saying but in this video we're going to go off of my parameters and like i said you can join in on the fun the tier list will be in the description down below and if you want to show me go ahead join my discord in the link in the description down below as well or you can actually follow me on twitter and actually send me a screenshot and i'll probably post my tier list and you guys can probably reply under it by the time this video comes out I'll, I'll do the little reply thing but before we get into that video if you are new to the channel and you haven't already go ahead hit the subscribe button if you do like manga content like the video if you are new please like the video and help support your boy out and follow me on all my other social media platforms all my links will be in the description down below so <sighs> let's go ahead and rank some manga all right guys so right now we are on tier maker and like i said i made this tier list myself so if you guys do want to join in on it please do i i happily invite you to my world you get what i'm saying but today we are going to be ranking manga and as you can see it goes from s to d and also no experience now a lot of these places probably have no experience only because i probably haven't shopped on there or you know obviously there's just no point in me shopping on there because it'd just be more money than what i would usually play for places like in america it's like stuff like book depository we can automatically put that in no experience now that's something that's for more of my international viewers you get what i'm saying so shout out to my international community i, I can't talk about book depository but i know that's a great place to buy manga if you are international but let's go ahead and start off with amazon now i have no problem with amazon and i know a lot of people have a bone to pick with amazon because they always say amazon started off as a book company how do they not know how to ship books sorry to tell you but every time i get my books they ship a goddamn rag. You get what I'm saying? All my books always come in pristine condition. But the thing with that is, if you do get a damaged book, you can always return it to one of those Amazon uh, drop-off spots where you can return it and you get your money back quickly. So with Amazon, compared to what we have right now on the list, which obviously is not much, we could put Amazon easily within the A tier. Now, Amazon, most of the time, does not sell manga for retail. It sells it for about $1 and $2 off, but if you add tax, then it probably goes up to the actual retail price, but without tax, though, so there you go and also you can use like your reward points from like your credit card and things like that and it's amazon two-day free shipping two-day free shipping oh you can't beat that you can't beat that and let me let me let you guys in on a little secret <clears throat> don't tell nobody big save of sage is talking to you now and this is a cheat code for life if you order something on amazon right if you order something on amazon and it's supposed to get to you on a certain day like if it says it's two days and it's like a monday and it's supposed to come like on a wednesday and you screenshot or anything and it comes on a thursday you could actually get your money back if it comes late like you can either get a full refund or in some cases you just get a five dollar promotional coupon so what's not to love about that i've had a volume of arrow ninja scrolls right i ordered it and it was supposed to come in the next day but then shipping pushed it to the next day and then the next day and then the next day and it went by like you know a week's time and i still didn't have my arrow ninja scroll so guess what i got a refund on it and they said yo we're giving you a refund and if the manga comes 
you're good. And I was like, oh. And it came like a few days after that. So I was like, yo, I got a free manga volume. Let me go ahead and spend that $13 on something else. You get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So that's why I got to put Amazon in A tier. In fact, I really want to put it in S tier. But S tier has to go for the, like a very selective few. You get what I'm saying? But F it. I'm putting Amazon in S tier. I love Amazon. I love my boy Jeff Bezos. Hey, me and him and Elon, we're going to the moon and I'm going to show them some peak fiction. You get what I'm saying? But okay, let's go on to the next one. And we have Anime Pop. Now, there's two locations of this Anime Pop in Austin, which I've also visited, and Anime Pop in Addison, which is near where I live right now currently. These locations are obviously both in Texas. And you guys know I'm a Texas resident. Come on. Yeehaw, right? But. <laughs> But we are talking about Anime Pop, and me and my boys Jerry and the Uncertain Anime Podcast and the My Wife With Me crew, we have been here plenty of times, but every time we go here, it's just a standard manga, you get what I'm saying? Like, it's not a bad manga selection, but it's just your everyday average stuff that you would usually see, like nothing exclusive, nothing like super dope, and I'm sorry to say this, and I like Anime Pop, sometimes their prices be a little bit egregious for your boy they'd be really up there like it'd be too expensive but for the price of the manga it's generally good but the one thing i do have to knock them on is that they don't have like a a, a great rewards program like you know like with barnes and nobles you sign for the reward program for like 20 dollars a year you get 10 percent off of each of your purchases which initially just basically takes off the tax well anime pop does not do that so i will have to put them probably in d right now yeah, I'm gonna have to put them in D because it's very bare bones and you know, it's just not a place that I really like to go to. Now, if I'm going to Anime Pop, I usually like to go for the figures because they have a lot of figures that I really want, but the figures also be overpriced. And I'm just being real with you guys. This is just my opinion. I get it, y'all are a local company and I want to support, but I can't support y'all if y'all destroying me from my wallet. You get what I'm saying? But the next place we have to rank is Barnes and Nobles, and it's Barnes and Nobles. It's do we God dang it, I'm putting it in the god dang A tier. I'm sorry, it's Barnes and Nobles. I can't say nothing bad about Barnes and Nobles. Now, sometimes they've been a little iffy for the past few months, which is why I switched to Right Stuff Anime, but Barnes and Nobles, they haven't done me wrong. They have a rewards program that's $20 a year, and you basically get 10% off of each of your purchases, and you get free shipping on the website. Yeah, y'all are getting A tier. Now, it doesn't have the best prices, obviously, just because you're getting that 10% knocked off since you do have the actual membership. But Barnes & Noble's definitely ain't bad. It's a great place to actually go to to buy manga. But yeah, I like I, I like Barnes & Noble's in A tier. Next place we have is Discord. And this is more for like the, you know, the local selling kind of thing. Not like literally local, like in your city, but like if you want to sell amongst other collectors themselves now you could join plenty of communities don't join mine trying to sell do not join mine trying to sell but i know other manga communities probably sell and buy manga in their communities not me but i'm pretty sure that you could do all this in discord and as long as you do paypal's goods and services you can't get scammed trust your boy but i have no experience with this so i cannot speak about this so we're going to put this in no experience now we have ebay eBay's all right. Now, I'd rather go to eBay if I cannot find the volume in store, meaning that it's probably out of print. Now, I've bought in some volumes from eBay, but it's not the greatest selection. And obviously, with sites with secondary markets, you're going to have things like scammers, flippers, and scalpers. So, with eBay, I'm probably going to have to put it in the D tier. Definitely not a place I will ever, ever in my life look for manga, unless it was out of print. If it's out of print, I will go look there. But eBay generally is a place that dictates the price for some of these items. You can actually look on eBay and see what was the last listing that sold for whatever price you get what I'm saying. So eBay is a great indicator of you to see how much something is, but it's not the first place I go to if I'm looking for a volume, especially if it's like a in stock in print order. You get what I'm saying? So let's go to the next one. Next place up we have is Facebook. Now I have not bought any manga off of Facebook. I've seen plenty of manga on Facebook, but it's also going to be in that tier where, you know, you can usually do stuff locally or you get people to ship manga to you with Facebook. It's Facebook. I mean, you can go on there, go on the marketplace. You can look for almost anything on there. You could God dang buy a car on there. If you want, you can buy a house. I've been looking at some houses on there. I'm not going to lie, but you could buy a house off of Facebook. But honestly, I have no experience with Facebook, but it's generally the secondary market. It's not like an actual storefront itself. So we're going to go ahead and put that in no experience as well. Now, the next place we have is half price crooks. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, um, half price bucks. Oh, half price bucks. What am I talking about? I didn't mean half price crooks. You know, the place that doesn't sell anything for half price. You ever been somewhere called Half Price Books and they sell the manga for retail or even above retail? 
<laughs> that's crazy that's crazy now i will say i did buy all of my reborn volumes there but they were all retail and two of the volumes i bought in that reborn haul were both 15 dollars. and we all know that biz media manga is usually like 9.99 but you know the reborn volumes are a little bit older so they was like 7.99 so half price crooks until y'all get y'all ish together until y'all get y'all ish together Y'all are going in D tier too. Now, mm, but they do be having some great stuff sometimes. Sometimes some of them be slacking, sometimes not. Maybe it might go back. Go ahead, check out Prom's video on why they're called half price crooks and not half price books. You get what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and put them in C tier. Great place to buy, you know, out of print manga. But don't go there. Well, actually, if you actually do go there to buy in stock manga, like like in print, it's actually going to be like 20% off, I think. So. It's all right, but it doesn't have the greatest selection of imprint manga either way. So you're generally going to go there if you want secondhand manga, you get what I'm saying? So it goes in the C tier only because of that and because I found my Reborn volumes there. And I found some pretty good stuff like Yu-Gi-Oh volumes there. Oh, I helped complete my Yu-Gi-Oh collection from Half Price Books. Oh, you go in the video game selection, sometimes you can find some hidden gems. But we go ahead and put Half Price Books in the C tier. Next place up we have is Instagram. Now, I have not actually bought an manga off of instagram but i have sold manga off of instagram so i have no experience when it comes to buying but i will say it's just like discord facebook and ebay you go there for the secondary market basically and or if you know when your favorite youtubers you get what i'm saying or content creators want to sell out some manga or if you want to connect with other manga content creators you get what i'm saying so with instagram i have sold manga and i've made a good amount uh selling manga and no i don't literally mean a good amount i literally sold all my demon slayer just to fund the actual box set itself and i made more than what i needed to actually get the box set so shout out to the guy that bought my demon slayer highly appreciate that so with instagram i have no experience buying anything off of instagram but i will say it's a great place if you want to network with other manga content creators and maybe sell or buy stuff from them if they are selling stuff do not pester people asking hey are you selling stuff hey are you selling stuff if they're selling stuff they're probably going to post it on their story you get what i'm saying or just follow them on their journey of making content and they'll probably just mention it here and there and then you can hit them up don't pester them Woo! okay we're almost done with this list guys we're almost done with this list and we have my sworn enemy you guys know i have a saga with this place on the channel i have like three yeah i think i have like three haul videos on this channel about in stock trades and in stock trades oh some of the best prices i have ever seen from manga that's where it stops there because it has some of the longest shipping that i've had to wait from manga about two to three weeks one time more than a month great price though great price like i said great price but it was a bit longer than a month you get what i'm saying and imagine you buy a manga and you go into all these other stores you see it in the store and it's not trade still got it like come on man but the price is good though the price the price is good but i never get a promo code from in stock trades so i don't know but i did get a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh off of them though so i will be putting in stock trades in the b tier great great prices that's what really shoots them up there the packaging elite as well it's just that waiting time for the shipping like oh my gosh i i'm a very impatient person sometimes like if it's two weeks i'm cool over a month yeah i'm not cool next place we got up is books of millions and honestly i'm just gonna go ahead and put that in the a tier with barnes and nobles you guys probably know what books a million is it's the standard it's basically just like barnes and nobles you pay 20 dollars for the membership you get 10 percent off of all your purchases what's not to love it but it's literally like a sister store to barnes and nobles there's really not anything different between these two honestly except that bam every time i go to one it's a little bit close like closer like it's it's a little more claustrophobic than the actual barnes and nobles though but each of them are sometimes both attached to malls too though hmm that's interesting next place we have is kino kinea and i'm just gonna go ahead and shoot that up in s oh kino kinea you guys have seen plenty of episodes of come shop with the boy and if you are new to the channel and you don't know what come shop with the boy is it's a series where i just go out and i buy anime manga merch and we just hang out with the homies and we just chill it's basically like a vlog series on the channel go ahead and check it out i'll leave a playlist link in the description down below but kino kinea it has japanese volumes of manga it has english volumes of manga a whole bunch of stock now it is pretty claustrophobic but where the kino kinea is near me the two locations oh it's in like a little asian market oh and the boba oh i can't go shopping for manga without getting some boba as well so the actual aesthetic the atmosphere of going to go buy manga oh it's so great it's fantastic i love it and i just love to see all the people who love anime and manga just be there now like i said it's pretty claustrophobic so your boy 
it'd be a little hard to breathe in there but i will say it's always a great time and i'm always nervous recording in there too because you know the workers looking at me like and i'm just looking at them like i'm sorry but i love kino kinia i oh my gosh i haven't been to kino kinia in months and if you guys do not know that's where i get my usual shonen jump magazines from now the next place we have up is movie trading company now this is more of a local spot in texas i know in other places it's called like entertainment mart or vintage stock and movie trading company the one reason i would go there to buy manga is because a lot of the times they do a buy two get one free which is very great especially if you're going to be buying a lot of manga you're getting the whole volume for free and they run that deal pretty often like way more often than i would assume they run it basically like almost every holiday every, at least every holiday weekend but the one thing about movie training company is they have such a slim selection and the selection is always poor and super mainstream stuff and you guys know i love the mainstream stuff but I have most of the mainstream stuff. So Movie Trading Company literally has nothing for me but video games. So if you go there for manga, it's cool. You might find a deal. You might find some used manga there and some new manga. But I would only go there when it's a buy two, get one free. But sometimes, sometimes, just like high price books, every now and then it can be either a hit or a very hard miss. So I will say that right now. Movie Training Company, I've also done an episode of Come Shop with the Boy on there as well. Next place we have up is Reddit, and honestly, I have no experience with this, but there is this Reddit subreddit. Reddit subreddit. Yeah, there is this Reddit subreddit called R Manga Swap, and there's also a R Manga Deals or R Manga. I'll put the links in the description down below as well. But basically, I've seen a lot of people come up on some very great steals when it comes to actually buying manga and selling manga. That's a great place for you to sell manga. And like I said, if you are using one of these places like eBay, Discord, Facebook, Instagram, or Reddit, make sure you use PayPal and make sure you use goods and services. You do not want to get duped. If you use friends and family, that person can literally take your money and he does not have to send you jack squat because PayPal just thought you basically zelled him that money. You get what I'm saying? Not the kindness of your heart. So make sure you're using PayPal, goods and services. But Reddit is also a place that you can buy manga. Now, I want to say right stuff for last because, you know, you always say the best for last. So we're going to go with Simon and & Schuster. And honestly, around this time last year was when I was becoming the box set sage. You get what I'm saying? Like, you guys saw all the box set videos. Oh, that coupon that Simon & Schuster had too. Oh, fantastic. And Simon & Schuster, as soon as you get on the website and you're looking for something, you get it but you can't buy it on their site they have links to other sites that have that item like well the actual url it doesn't make sure if that store has that item but it also just gives you the links or the urls to all the other places that have that item itself on the website so sorry with the shuster i'm gonna go ahead and give it a b the shipping is pretty good from my standards at least uh it didn't take too long the the, the prices was good pretty it, it, the price was pretty you know what? i'm putting this on the a <laughs> i like simon and shuster but that coupon's not there anymore so the, the savings ain't there anymore you know what i'm saying nothing bad against simon and shuster if you want to buy off of there trust me it's a verified place that i bought from and i've gotten i think my one piece box set two or three from there i forgot which one simon and shuster pretty good place but that coupon from last year oh it was so elite not even right stuff was beating that coupon all oh, the prices were so good and now the last place we have up is right stuff anime and you guys already know i'm going to put this in s tier it's right stuff anime where can you go wrong with this first of all right stuff anime always has some type of daily deal that's fantastic right stuff always has some type of manga sale going on about like each week each every other week i don't know but that's also a fantastic deal during the summer and during the winter they have a huge manga blowout sale and it's just prices that you would never think that you would see for manga which is like one of the best things to happen for the manga collecting community fantastic deal i cannot say anything more about right stuff and also you know <clears throat> they help pay for the boys bills if you use that affiliate link no extra cost to you but it does help the channel out you get what i'm saying so right stuff anime if i'm really being honest i can't say nothing bad about right stuff anime right stuff anime is such a great place to buy manga with great prices great shipping great packaging rise up anime just hits everything across the board rise up anime before i even got heavily in the manga collecting i was buying blu-rays off of them for such great prices and such great steals oh my gosh like rise up anime is the place to buy anime merch except for figures do not buy any figures off of right stuff anime because they figures be super expensive and they hit you with a surcharge even if you go over the 75 dollar limit they still hit you with that surcharge like what but yeah basically this is the tier list right here guys you see it you see my list and whoo 
I think it's a pretty good list. I'm not gonna lie, it's a pretty good list. Oh, I actually forgot one place, Makari. Haven't used it. I also don't like Makari either because the UI is kind of stupid looking and it's ugly looking. So I never used it, but I also do not want to buy manga after it also. But yeah, this is the list right here. This is the full list. And honestly, let me know what your guys' list is down in the comment section down below. Or like I said, you can go on Twitter and just reply to whatever my little screenshot is. And you just tell me what your actual list is. Like I said, I'll leave a link to this tier list in the description down below. But that's about it for the video. Let me know what you guys thought about the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you are new to the channel and you have not already, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, post notification bell, like the video, follow me on all my other social media platforms. And I got to give a huge shout out to my Patreon pledgers for going ahead and financially supporting the channel. Guys, I highly appreciate what you guys are doing for me, financially donating on Patreon. And I got to give a huge shout out to the YouTube members for also financially donating on the YouTube side of things as well, baby. Yes, sir. And I got to give a big shout out to Broke Boy Gang because now that I gave y'all the secrets, the tools of success when it comes to where to buy manga oh y'all about to go crazy <laughs> y'all about to go crazy but i always say thank you guys for watching dark sage out peace